Season's greetings, everybody. So we did it, and a lot quicker than I thought we would as well. Uh, 20,000 subscribers. You guys already know how much that just blows my mind. Uh, now for 10,000 subscribers, I did a Q&A, so I thought it'd be appropriate to do another one. Um, so I asked you to leave me questions, and I'm, I'm really grateful for the substantial response that I got. Um, got some interesting questions, so I'm not sure how many we're gonna get through. Um, and a lot of you asked like double questions, so I might just sort of take one from uh, your comment. Uh, we'll just go through, see how it goes. First question's from William. Who do you find more interesting to watch debate, Richard Dawkins or Christopher Hitchens, if any at all? Um, I have to give that to Christopher Hitchens, hands down. Richard Dawkins is incredibly interesting, incredibly intelligent, of course. I've seen him talk myself. Um, I think that he's great for people who are already atheists. Um, pretty funny, pretty intelligent. But Christopher Hitchens, he will challenge pretty much anything that you believe in. And he's still challenging people to this day, despite having died now over five years ago. Um, Christopher Hitchens just had a wit uh, and, and this linguistic proficiency that I just haven't really seen matched uh, by any other contemporary writers to, to quite his style. And I think that's at least partly due to his respect of the English language as an instrument. I mean, that man really knew how to put words together. What do you think are the best arguments against Catholicism? Well, if you mean in terms of legitimacy, then the same as any other breed of Christianity, really, uh, the scientific inaccuracy of the Bible, for instance. But if you mean Catholicism specifically, as opposed to other Christian denominations, for me, it's probably uh, their condemnation of contraceptives. I've talked about this before in a video that's on my Facebook page that isn't on YouTube, uh, but I think that the Catholic Church's condemnation of contraceptives is completely ridiculous and entirely illogical. Uh, especially when you couple it with their condemnation of abortion. It just makes no sense. Favourite film? Favourite film franchise is Star Wars, of course, if that counts. Katrina asks, Gabriel or Matty from Swish? Come on now, Katrina, you know I couldn't possibly. Matty McDonough, why are you wearing a helmet? I've changed my mind. Gabriel. What's your favourite Beatles album and which do you like better, Led Zeppelin or The Beatles? My favourite Beatles album, well, well I mean... <laughs> Not that one, actually. Uh, my favourite Beatles album would either be Sgt. Pepper's or Rubber Soul. And as for your second question, I I have to hand it to the Beatles, but only like by the tiniest amount. I just think that they were slightly more revolutionary and much better songwriters. I mean, Led Zeppelin pretty much plagiarised all of their music, but they were fantastic musicians. Um, but yeah, just gotta hand it to the Beatles. How do you spell it? Grey or grey? Grey. How do you pronounce scone? Scone. What profession do you think is worth the most praise? I don't know about the most praise, but I think that one job that's certainly grossly underappreciated is that of a teacher. Um, and of course I'm talking about a good teacher. I mean, a good teacher is someone who doesn't just teach the syllabus, um, they teach life lessons and they inspire children to learn, not necessarily just about their subject, but just to learn in general. And that's just completely invaluable. I think teachers deserve a lot more credit than they get half the time. Chris asks a relevant question. Should I lie to my kids about Santa Claus? I think that's entirely up to the discretion of the parents. Um, I understand the parallels that some people might draw between this and God, but I think the difference is that people tend to grow out of Santa Claus. Um, I actually think that teaching kids about Santa Claus can be a good thing. Uh, because it teaches children to be incredulous. It teaches them that just because you're taught something at a young age um, by authoritative figures um, with some kind of moral message behind it or some kind of moral motive doesn't mean it's necessarily true. And if these children can learn to apply this to other areas of their life, not naming any in particular, well, I think this world would be maybe a slightly better place. How would you respond to a Christian saying, well, how do you explain where matter originated from? I'd say, I don't know. And if you claim that you do know, then you should probably make a few phone calls and dust off a little space on your shelf for your Nobel Prize. What channel that's like yours is your favourite? Uh, I don't know about favourite, but a channel that I've been watching a lot of recently is called Holy Kool-Aid. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. They have about 10,000 subs, I think. Um, but it's a really, really good channel and deserves way more subs than it has. Um, so if you have the time, definitely go and check it out. Link will be in the description. If you could rewrite the Ten Commandments, what would you say? I think this is a really interesting question, actually. Um, the first thing that I would do is probably get rid of all the egotistical ones that have absolutely nothing to do with morality. So, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Um, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. That You shouldn't make graven images, that kind of thing. Um, the second thing I'd do is possibly get rid of the obvious ones. So, thou shalt not murder, um, thou shalt not steal, those kinds of things, probably get rid of those. I'd definitely include a commandment outlawing slavery and sexual offences of any kind. Um, oh, and the commandment that uh, children should respect their parents, I would probably extend that and include that parents should probably respect their children 
as well. But something I recommend you watch immediately if you haven't already is Christopher Hitchens' dismantling of the Ten Commandments, and at the end of that video, um, he proposes his own Ten Commandments, which I think are really good and really interesting. Uh, the whole video is a brilliant watch. I'll leave, of course, a link in the description as well. Where would you fit yourself on the Dawkins scale? Uh, same place as Richard Dawkins, actually. I've said this in a video before. And number six. What changes would you want to see in the current governing systems and education systems? Uh, one thing that springs to mind immediately is that in my country, one in every three state-funded schools are religious schools. Um, and I think that faith schools are divisive and they teach children about our differences rather than our similarities. And so I would probably abolish them immediately. As an ex-Catholic, why do you reject the argument from motion by St. Thomas Aquinas? For the same reason that I reject all five of his famous arguments, uh, because even if they could be proven to be valid or legitimate, um, there's absolutely no connection between a first mover and the Christian God. Do you play the guitar? I do indeed, and if you want to see me play, then anything that I do music-wise um, either goes on my SoundCloud or video-wise goes on my second channel. Of course, both links will, you know where they are. Edwin asks, who is your favorite American actor slash actress? Uh, my favorite American actor, Joel Osteen. A wonky-nosed Victorian ghost child telling people he does not believe in God. This boy is desperately seeking affirmation from the outside world due to him having a poor emotional relationship with his father growing up. There will be no amount of videos, views, or subscribers that is going to fill that hole in your life. Don't worry, people will tell you to be happy, and deep down, you know that will never be fulfilling. This is a classic case of the secular society destroying the millennial generation. Grow up. And a Merry Christmas to you too. Well, that was fun. Uh, thank you all for sending in your questions. Sorry if I didn't get around to answering yours specifically, but if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments to this video, and I'll try and get around to answering a few of them. Uh, before I go, just need to announce my patron of the month, who this month is a guy called Caleb, who I've already been into contact with. Um, I was Snapchatting him from the bookshop. Uh, you, Caleb, will be being sent a copy of uh, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking in the mail. Um, of course, an absolutely classic book, so do be sure to let me know what you think. Um, but for the rest of you, thank you all so much for 20,000 subscribers. I honestly cannot express my gratitude enough. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching all of my videos. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, you can do here. Don't forget to subscribe. I've been Alex J. O'Connor or Cosmic Skeptic. Have a wonderful Christmas, and I will see you in the next one.